a good lighting at right about there of course with the boxes in the background i wanted to update everybody on what i've been doing lately um not much honestly i've been working and i have been doing lots and lots of uni work making a cup of tea coffee as we speak best thing that's happened to me recently is that i have discovered black coffee and how to drink black coffee just as black coffee and it's one of the greatest and most terrifying discoveries I've ever made because I could just make coffee anywhere at any time. All I need is hot water and I generally always have access to that which is great. I haven't done any of my dishes still. That's, that's, yep my dishes are still there. So I haven't been reading much lately. Still, I'm still terrible at it. I finished the audiobook for The Wise Man's Fear and that was really good. I love that series so much. And since then, if we take a trip into the lounge room, I can show my washing. I can show you that I have recently been reading The Slow Regard of Silent Things, which is the smallest book in the world, and it's taking me forever to get through it. Like I've only read that small part. But I haven't had time to read because I've been doing uni work and, and work work and all of that fun stuff. Other than that, not much has happened. I've been doing a lot of watching BTS videos because that's nothing new in my life really, let's be honest. I bought some things. Do you want to see some things I bought? I'll show you some things I bought. Let's do a mini haul. So recently I've purchased some books. We have The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. It's the second book in the thousandth floor duology. I don't know if it's going to be more than two, but there's two at the moment. I also bought The Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas, which is the seventh, sixth book, one, two, three, four, five, sixth book in the Throne of Glass series. And I think it was like originally a novella and then it became the sixth book, but it's about the character Kale. The next book I bought was Our Dark Duet that I nearly dropped by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab. It's the second book to um, this, this Savage Song, which is a great book and I am very excited to dive into this one. I actually bought this before I left for Fiji, but I haven't read it yet still. Nothing new there. Next one I bought is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and I got this second hand off someone on her Facebook page. Um, she had a heap of stuff going, so from her I also got We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Uh, recently discovered E. Lockhart, haven't read anything yet, but I'm pretty excited to get into this realm of things. And not even close to last, but last in this pile I have, is The Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. And I've seen stuff about this literally everywhere. And I don't know what any of it's about. So I bought the first one. It was not $5, it was $2. Um, again, got it off that person who was selling stuff. Cheers, person. I also bought this So Much I Want to Tell You by Anna O'Connor. And this is a book that she wrote with things that she wanted to tell her little sister who committed suicide. So um, I really like Anna O'Connor. I think she's great. And I figured I would probably like this too. So I bought it. Next one, let's grab my coffee and head to the kitchen because that's where we're headed next. So the next book I bought is a cooking book, which I'm very excited about, as you can probably tell. And it is K4 Korean, which is a Korean cookbook, which I'm so excited because it's got heaps of recipes for like kimchi and stuff like that. And I haven't really eaten any Korean food ever. So I'm just going to make my own. What else have I got? Oh, I've also bought this. Oh, I have to get all of them off the fridge first. I bought magnets um, because I'm an adult and I buy adult things. So the first magnet I bought is current status. Getting my shit together. A uh, diet book told me to cut carbs and I have no idea why it's not working. Uh, relationship status, eating peanut butter by the spoon. I've hit guac bottom. Leave a sparkle and this is just a generic looking one. So they're my magnets I bought. I love magnets, magnets are great. Oh, and the best things that I bought. Oh, what else have we got? Okay, so as most of you who listen to BTS or any kind of Korean pop at all or keeps up with that side of the world of things, you probably know that BTS had a comeback in September, which was actually the day after I got back from Fiji, so that was fun. So I bought the Love Yourself album, and you can't see it in this light. Almost. Let's just rotate until you can. Whoa, there we go. Love Yourself. And then her. L version. It comes with a heap of things. It came with a poster that's currently on my wall. Shh, I'm 12. So first of all, it comes with the CD, as here, and it is the pretty rose. There we go. It also comes with a photo book that's going to be really hard for me to show you because I only have one hand. But, oh, yeah. It comes with a little photo book with heaps of photos on the inside. Isn't that great? Oh, look, we can just do this. Let's stick it, but it's just little photos. 
Hey! I really like it. Um, it also comes with a little selfie card that's a random one in each, so I got sugar. And it comes with the notes, which is just a little explanation of the story behind all of the video clips and stuff. And I don't know if this comes with every album or if it just comes from where I got the album from on Amazon, but a heap of little postcard looking doobly doo things, which is great because they're really cute. Anyway, so that's my BTS album. I also bought the BTS Memories of 2016, which is probably one of my favourite purchases that I've made this year. It is essentially everything that BTS did last year that they filmed and they thought was good enough to put into their Memories of 2016. So there is four DVDs worth of content. And this thing also comes with a photo book as well, which has, again, pretty photos of them doing things. Which is great. That's another thing I bought that I love. That was great. Um, other than that, I bought a shoe rack. I bought overalls. I don't know if you can see them. Overalls. Because I am an adult who pays taxes and rent. So this is my poster. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I feel less lost being an adult. I have a schedule. Thanks, Mel. Um, for my washing, I do my washing on Sundays now, if anyone else is uh, interested in how I do my daily chores. Um, again, my dishes are sporadic. My housemate's away at the moment, so I'm a little bit less diligent with actually doing my dishes. I finish uni in a week and a half, which is not a long time at all. It's actually quite a lot. It's quite a short time, actually. I'm um, not very ready for it, let's be honest. Yeah, so I'm not very ready for that one still. Uh, it should be interesting. Um, I have to apply for jobs and all that fun stuff. Finish the degree, go to my grad ball, say goodbye to all the people that I have not really spoken to for the last four years. I'm excited to have it done. I'm very excited to start this next phase of my life. I think I'm a little bit done with the uni phase. I've been there for five years, so I feel like five years is quite long enough. Yeah. And then I just gotta find a job. Maybe. Might travel for a bit. Who knows? Do you know, guys know any places that you could travel to? I don't know where to travel to. I wanna go to Seoul. For obvious reasons. But I also kinda wanna go to Japan. I think that'd be fun. Um, I'm going to America sometime next year, I'm pretty sure. To visit a friend who will be over there next year, hopefully. Um, hopefully for him, anyway. You'll get there, Sam. You'll get there. And yeah, I don't really know where else I want to go. I'd like to go to Europe. That'd be nice. I've been to Italy before, but I don't really know anywhere else in there that I'd want to go besides there. I've already done Italy, so I don't really want to do it again unless I'm like 50 and have nowhere else left to go because I've been so worldly and traveled everywhere that I want to. Yeah, so do you guys know any places that I could travel to? Or maybe I, I don't know, travel recommendations, please. That would be nice. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little catch up on my life. Um, I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you next time.